Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are keeping it really simple but effective with this fat burning cardio Pilates workout that you do not need any equipment for. Just your body, just a little strength, some good endurance. You are definitely going to burn doing this workout. So roll out your mat and let's get started. All right, guys, I'm so glad you're back for more. We've got fat burning cardio Pilates. And the fun thing about this one is that it's not going to be too long. So with that in mind, you could go back and repeat it a second time, or maybe even three times if you want a little bit more of a burn. But if once, if it's one and done, that's great too. Give it your all and let's get into it. So we're gonna start with just a really basic chair squat here. I'm gonna show you both from the front as well as from the side so you can see the alignment and all that. So feet are gonna be hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. Weight is in the heels, butt pushes back, arms in line with the ears. So let me show you from the side because a little bit troubleshooting here. We don't want this, right? See how I've just got this big like dip in my back and I'm popping my butt up? Because when I'm doing that, I'm getting a lot of lower back, I'm not actually engaging the abs, which means it makes it a little bit harder to engage the glutes. So make sure you're staying tucked, like a little comma tucking under with the tailbone and back is staying nice and flat. So we're gonna do just 10 of these. So we sit down, inhale, Exhale, squeeze the butt to come back up. Knees tracking over toes. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze up. Make sure that motion of squeezing up, that's coming from the muscles and not the joints. So don't think of it as just like bend, extend, bend, extend. It's not just a bend and extend of the knees. In fact, that's very little of what this is about. The knees are just kind of being Pulled along for the ride, but they're not the ones that are doing the motion. Here's two and one, all the way up to standing. Come to the front end of your mat because we're going to do an alternating rear lunge with an overhead reach. So starting with the right foot, feet are just together here. We're going to step back, sink into it, all the way back up to standing. Other side. Make sure that foot that's stepping back, the knee and toes are staying directed to the front of your mat. And you're fully sinking weight into it, okay? So it's not just keeping the weight in the front leg and doing like a tap back. No, no, no. Back will stay straight here. So watch that you're not tilted forward. Weight will be equal between both legs. But we're thinking of pulling from that front heel to come back up. So heart rate is already coming up a bit. And we're not even to the real cardio yet. Here's four. And last one there, good. So cardio here. Kind of going to mirror the strength. So I want you to come into a little crouch here. Heels are going to lift. So heels lift. We're going to reach all the way up into like a little fist. So we're here and up here. Actually, scratch that. <laughs> scratch that. Let's keep heels down because I want the heel lift to be the big part of it. But there's no jump. Okay. So nice and joint friendly, nice and apartment friendly as well. Again, I'm gonna turn to the side. So we're down and up. We're going for 20 of these nice and quick. So down, reach, down, reach. Make sure you're not bowing the back at the top. So chest pushes ahead of the navel. That's halfway. And fairly big and powerful with the arms because that brings the heart rate up. Here's two, one. There we go. And then we're going to go for some nice little split jumps here. You don't have to come down super low, but we're doing 20s. So step into your lunge. Here we go. We're jumping in. So switch. The lower you sit into lunge, the harder it's going to be. 
So if you want to make it hard, keep abs tight. Four, three, two, one. Not so bad. Not so bad. That's why I said you could repeat it. Come to the back end of your mat. Feet hip distance. Now we're going to fully <laughs> crouch down. Heels are lifted. We're going to crawl forward into a plank. So hands down, crawl with me in the plank. This will be our first one. Stay in the plank. You're going to push butt back to heels. Forward. Do that one more time. Back. Forward. And then this time, walk hands back in. So that's one rep. One down, we're doing 10 total. So here we go. Walk it forward, pause in that nice strong plank, butt back, forward, back, forward, and then walk it back in. So the legs are going to start burning a little bit on these ones, I'm not gonna lie. That is part of the fun. That is the fat burning. And I'm hoping that I'm capable of counting 10 of these <laughs> while, while I'm doing it. Big concentration. Butt just drops back toward the heels. Woo, my legs are burning. <laughs> the legs will get a bit of a break though. So. That's our halfway point for this one. I think my count is correct so far, but the second half could be where it starts to uh, fall apart a little bit. It's surprisingly hard counting to 10 <laughs> when there's a lot going on. It is. Oh my God. This is like a plank and then some. No, but those little crouch backs, they are a doozy. They're a doozy. And I just filmed another video before this in which Leo made his appearance. So I don't know if it's gonna happen twice in a row, probably not. No, he's asleep now. So for those of you guys who are new, Leo is one of my cats. One of my babies, he usually makes the most appearances. He's my very best friend in the whole entire universe. But yes, I have three, three beautiful cats. So could see any of them, actually that's not true. We're not gonna see Luna because Luna's outside right now. <laughs> and I closed the door so that we wouldn't get the noise, but she's happy out there. So she's outside. All right, hold in the plank here. 20 plank jacks. Keep butt down, we're just jumping on in. Here we go. So out, in. Expand across the chest. No sliding the feet on the floor. It's gotta be a jump. Here's four, three, two, one. Knees down, and we're gonna flip around. So go ahead, sit back on the butt. And by sit back, I mean roll all the way back. There we go. And we're gonna stretch legs just long on the floor here. So check in with the lower back. I say this pretty much anytime we're in this position, but it's not here. We don't want this big hole there. So close that up, tuck in nice and tight. And we're gonna do hands behind the nape of the neck. So we're gonna do a little crunch here with a knee in. So we'll alternate sides, press lower back down, inhale. On the exhale, we crunch toward that right knee, bring it back down, other side. Tuck in, release. Don't let the lower back lift up. Keep elbows wide. So you're lifting with the chest, not pulling up the head. And it's not a full sit up. So don't try to make it that. Okay. 
Here's eight. And four. Last one. Bam. Okay, so now the legs are going to move together. So I want you to put a bend in the knees, heels down, toes are up. In fact, let's squeeze the heels together. It'll just help stabilize a little bit. Lower back stays down. How many lift into a crunch position? We're just going to stay here. So hollowing out the navel, pick up the heels together, move them out a little bit. So we touch out, we bring them back in. Keep going with that. Lower back does not lift. So we're going out and in. We're not going that far out. So it's not like a full extension. Staying pretty light on the floor. So touch, bring it in. Touch, bring it in. Keep pulling navel down. Stay hollow there. Here's four. It's not too many. And last one there, bam, hug the knees in. You can rest the head down again for a second. And then we're gonna do kind of a similar deal, but everything is going to be floating. So everything's in the air. So we're gonna start with legs out at a diagonal here. Hands behind the nape of the neck. We're gonna draw right knee in, we crunch. Extend, meet back at the diagonal, left leg. Crunch, extend. So make sure you are pausing every time there. This is not a cardio move, which means we're taking it nice and slow and controlled. So don't rush these. Don't let the lower back lift. If you feel like it's lifting, lift the legs a little bit higher. That'll help give you a little bit more control to stay pressed down. And I'm realizing this is just not an ideal hairstyle for, uh, what we're doing here. But one of my goals for summer is to learn how to um, French braid my own hair. I mean, if I'm honest, I would prefer to Dutch braid because I like the look of the Dutch braid a little bit better, but that's just, I can, I can do either on somebody else's head, but on my own head, no. One more here. And I tried, I watched a little tutorial. I tried both a French and a Dutch. Dutch, no, not happening on like my own head at this angle, no. French braid is also kind of a joke on my own head, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying, see if we can get there. Hands behind here, double crunch now. So tuck both knees in, you're gonna crunch up toward the legs. Got a big wad of fuzz on my leg, extend. So tuck. Tailbone can come up a little, extend. Layla, Sandy, come here. Layla's thinking about making an appearance, but she's not thinking that hard about it. Oh, please don't scratch the television. Please don't. You're gonna be in trouble if you do that. Here's four. And last one, good. So this is where we're gonna get into the cardio abs now. So this is a little bit quicker. There is a little bit more momentum in it. It's a little bit wild and rowdy. So legs are gonna be out long here. Arms in front on guard, it's a sprinter's roll. I will show you two and then you're gonna join in. So you roll, get the chest up first. Knee comes in, we twist opposite elbow, release down. I keep head, neck, and shoulders a little bit lifted just so I can go straight back up into it. You can rest all the way down there. It is gonna make it that much harder to come back out of it though. So 20 of these and three, two, one. Here we go, curl. So these are fairly quick, as much control as possible still. With that twist. Keeping arms in front. Ten. 
halfway if you're at the same speed as me. And here's four, might hear some cats hissing in the back. Last one. Leo's just gone to investigate Layla's new haircut and he really does not like when she gets her hair cut. He's not a fan, so that's what you're hearing. <laughs> All right, second cardio abs move here is going to be a starfish crunch. So starting from these hugged in, we're gonna go out to a big starfish, right? Everything's lifted all the way up to the tailbone. Notice my feet do not touch down there. If you absolutely need to, you can touch down, just you know, as long as you're getting enough momentum to come up. But ideally, there should be enough control there that you don't touch down. Alternatively, if you wanna make it a little bit harder, progression would be to go from here, don't touch the legs, just draw in, right? Without the arms assisting. But we're gonna go for 20. Again, they're fairly quick. It's not the worst ab move by a long shot. In three, two, one. Starfish and up. Make sure you're coming all the way up. Oh, buddy, he is having a repeat appearance. Here's Leo. Thanks for your support. That's halfway. Again, if you're at my pace. Exhaling all the way up. Here's three, two, one. Stay up at the top, flip over. We're coming back into another plank. So we're coming down to the end of it though. If you're just doing one round, we're coming into the end already. So you're gonna press up into a high plank here. Now you're gonna pick up the right foot, step it all the way to the outside right hand. Make sure that the heel comes down there. This is not it, right? This, there's no stability there. Step it all the way forward, get the heel down. Open up the right arm, twist there. Right hand comes down, step back. Same thing on the left. So we're gonna step, big step, twist, reach. Bring it down and back. Now don't step immediately with the right. We're gonna do one jump here. So all the way in, heels down, all the way back. That's it. So that was one rep, those three things. We're doing 10 total. So back to the right, twist, down and back, left, twist, down and back, both, jump and back, right. And double. It's not too bad, we've got it spaced out. I think these ones actually feel quite nice. It's a nice stretch for the hips. Oh, hi, hi my love. Hey, buddy. Oh, <laughs> uh oh, it's me. <laughs> so we adjust for that. <laughs> That's halfway. Right, reach. Left. And jump. Mwah. He doesn't like when I talk to people who are not him, <laughs> as you can see. Mwah. So when I do like anything over Zoom, because I do offer personal training via Zoom, so heads up, anywhere you are in the world, if you would like to do personal training with me and Leah, we do offer that via Zoom. And Leo likes to get involved in that too. Last one here, <laughs> go drop the knees for a second. Shake out the wrists, roll out the shoulders. And then just to make sure that we've really got those jumps down, we're just gonna go for 10 of those jumps. So it's not too bad, it's just 10. That's gonna be the last cardio we're doing. If this is the only round we're doing. <laughs> more if you're doing more rounds. But otherwise, finishing here with the cardio, 
10 jumps in three, two, one. Getting heels down each time. Here's four. It's really total body. Last one there and drop the knees. All right. I feel like Leo's my, my little cheerleader right now. All right, so I said we were done with the cardio. <laughs> I didn't say we were done. I didn't say we were done with planking. Final, final move here. We're gonna be on a plank on the elbows and we're doing hip twists. So right, left, right, left, 50 of those. So we'll count that as, as one, two, three, four, not one, one, two, two, right? So 50 total. 25 per side. You can go from the knees if you need to. Otherwise, from the toes, either way, the legs are not part of it. So the motion is just here through the middle. The legs are not coming along for the ride. So if you're up on the toes, the feet stay like this. They're not going side to side. Feet are not dropping. So it's just in the hips. It's gonna be a little bit smaller. Excuse me, my love. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll go right here. So, whichever version you're doing, come to the elbows, lift up, and we're starting those hip twists. So, right and left. Back for the next stays long. Nice and tight. Keep navel pulling in. Flat across the shoulders. Three, two, one, hold that plank for 10. <laughs> Three, two, one, and release, press back to a child's pose here. Nice deep breaths. Now, if you are planning on repeating this, stop here, go back to the start. Don't like relax into this child's pose and then start it over. So go back to the start now, start it over whenever you've done your last round. Then you can meet here in child's pose and you'll really feel like it's wonderful at that point. Hi, buddy. All right, so <laughs> child's pose. Go ahead, come up to hands and knees. We'll take a cat cow in honor of Leo. So inhale, hollow. There's our cow. Exhale around. Here's Leo. Oh. Inhale, hollow. He's what a comeback for him. Round tuck in. Hey, now did you miss filming? Inhale, hollow. Oh my god. Exhale around. You would think like that he never gets any attention or like he never sees us we're like we're with him constantly like he gets so much attention but he loves so much attention so legs in front here cross right ankle over left knee press that right knee out away from you that's your boy and then extend the left leg out long let the right foot just drop over the top keeping back nice and long and flat just take a twist here toward the right I mean, we all know that the real reason anybody is coming to, to check in is not for these workouts, it's to see this guy. Switch legs left over right. And I can't, I can't blame anybody, because I mean, look at him. He is just pure perfection. And he knows it. Right leg long, whoop, drop that one over, twist. But Layla's also looking pretty cute. 
cute right now. Release, extend both legs long in front. Inhale, reach up, exhale, take a forward fold from the line of the hips. So you don't have to reach for the toes, you can reach just the floor, the shin, wherever to this beautiful young man. Oh, he's just perfect. I mean, I know that I say it a lot, but it's like, it just doesn't get old. Just, oh my Lord. And go ahead, release. Shake it out here. Take any last stretches that you want to take. Um, and if you guys did more than one round on that, awesome. Kudos to you. If you just did the one round and you hit it really hard, also great. You can always work up as well. Do what you have time for. You know, better to do a little bit than nothing at all. I hope you guys really enjoyed this routine though. If you did, of course, let me know by giving it bam, a like down below. Um, if you have any requests or if you just wanna like send your greetings to Leo or the other cats, leave that down below in the comments. And while you're there, hit subscribe to come back and see more of this perfect, beautiful creature. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.